All right, so we're going to be taking a look at stock ticker symbol PLX. I know that uh, the Money King has requested us to take a look at this one multiple times, and I'm going to right now, uh, currently at 83 cents. You guys had a, quite of a move here. Um, look, if I zoom out, look at this right here. You guys are hitting a resistance level right now around the 83 cent mark. Uh, after that, it looks to be up here at the 90 cent. Uh, you guys can keep going with these lines if you want up there too, give or take right around that area, the dollar mark. So of course, almighty dollar, just like the almighty, almighty penny. Uh, right now, you guys are hitting that resistance level. And if I can go ahead and squeeze this one down a little bit, a uh, nice little bit of a, uh, not necessarily little bit, a big walk up here, especially off of a dip down, uh, a fall down from 56 all the way down to 42, big gap right there. Uh, not necessarily a big deal, but it filled for sure coming up shortly after. You guys can see this whole area trading. Uh, off of that, you guys have been bouncing off the 10-day simple moving average, trading pretty solid. Currently, right now, today, 4 million shares. You're going to surpass yesterday's shares fairly quick. Uh, so PLX, you know what? I, I really can't add too much into this because of the way that it has went up quite a bit in the past uh, as far as the chart goes, you're going to be at a resistance level right now at 82 cents. So if you guys make it through that, you guys are going to make your next way up to about the 86, 90. I'm going to, I'm going to call that about the 90 cent area is going to be the next, uh, big resistance level, uh, really depends on the buying pressure and it looks like it's keeping up. So we're going to keep this one on a watch. Uh, thank you very much for bringing this to us. Uh, I, I if you don't mind sharing any thoughts on this, why do you like it so much? Feel free. Uh, to leave us a message over here in the chat. So PLX, uh, it's up kind of high, so I would definitely be careful, in my opinion. Um, watch for buying to continue. And then the next support off of that is going to be around that uh, 64 cent mark. All right, Joe, you can go ahead and take over. What does PLX do? Oh, uh, yeah, so... Uh... Don't mind me. I'm probably gonna like butcher a few words over here because it's a bio pharma, biotherapeutics company, and then they kind of create their own products. So that means they're creating their own words. Also, uh, Bioto Biotalix is a biopharmaceutical company focused on the development and commercialization of recombinant therapeutic proteins expressed through its proprietary plant cell-based expression system, ProCell EX. Protelix's unique expression system presents a proprietary method for developing recumbent, uh, recumbent proteins in the cost-effective industrial scale manner. Protelix's first produ product manufactured by Procellex Taliglucerase Alpha was approved for marketing in the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in May 2012 and subsequently by the regulatory authorities of the other countries. Protalex has licensed to Pfizer Incorporated the worldwide development and commercialization rights for Tagler Ceres Alpha, excluding Brazil, where Protelex retains full rights. Protelex development pipelines include following product candidates, and this is where it's gonna get bad with these words, uh, Pegunigalesides Alpha. I, you know what that word, right? I can't even, I don't think anybody can really say it besides the dude that made it. All right, so uh, a modified version of the recumbent human alpha GALA protein for the treatment of Fabri, Fabri disease, OBRX106, and orally delivered anti inflammatory treatment, Ali Dornay's Alpha for the treatment of cystic fibrosis and others so um their latest press release was on january 9th and it was uh pro Talex biotherapeutics provides review of 2016 and strategic outlook for 2017 so i mean that right there it's i could go did it um, it's, uh, it's long but i mean it's got a lot of different things like everything this these highlights right here if you're interested in the company this is probably what you want to go and look at because i mean they they put everything right in it like where they received the purchase order from the Brazilian Ministry of Health for purchase of, don't know the word, to treat Gaucher patients in Brazil. The order consists of a number of like shipments during 2017, an increase in volumes for a total of approximately 24.3 million. So that right there, like they, they have all the highlights. There's a bunch of different highlights over here. And then their uh, 2017 outlook and projected future milestones. 
So they have like the full results of uh, a phase two efficiency of safe, safety study for Aldernase Alpha, and it's expected actually during the first quarter of 2017. So for the phase two right there, and then another phase two they're supposed to get for the OPRX 106 expected to be announced during the second half of 2017. And then they, they just have so many different things in the pipeline with them. They're uh, they're trading on the Nasdaq market as well. And what are they at? 82 cents a share right now. So. David, yeah, did you, no. pull, you didn't even pull up the press release. You know, you'd make it a lot easier for me if, like, when I was reading the press release or going over it, just pull it up. That way, people can kind of read along. Yeah, I, I tend to try to. Um, yeah, it's the it's the one from the uh, ninth. See that one right there. I think that's more or less like uh, people bringing like highlight in the company. Yeah, I, I want to add one it. more quick note on this one, Joe. Uh, mm -hmm. KT over on YouTube. Thank you very much for adding this. Uh, there, uh, there are two separate pharmaceutical companies that bought five percent stake in the company in the last two weeks. I think this is a mm. big reason why they are phase three new of newest drug. So yeah. thank you very much for adding that. And, and like Joe said, uh, did you have anything else to add? No, I mean, uh, I was just going over that January 9th press release. That, but that's why, that's why it's great when, when we have, like, a community of investors listening. Like, I wouldn't have known that if, unless I would sit here and, like, continue to research different things, you know? Right. And, so, like, pull up the filings and everything else. And then the, the four minutes that we're looking over it, you know, it's not as easy as somebody that's obviously, you know, paying closer attention to the company that's been watching it for, like, weeks on end. Okay, so PLX, if you guys follow this one, head over here to investorshangout.com. Check out the company profile, time and sales, recent news, filings, and financials, all available to you. Uh, currently, like I said, up at 82. I said watch for buying to continue. Next resistance at 94 and support at 63. Up kind of high now, so watch it. Uh, just voicing my opinion. There's a lot going on, obviously, with the company. If you follow this one or would like to request any other stocks, head over to investorshangout.com forward slash live.